Hi, I'm Bobby Crispy. This video is part of my guitar lesson series. So today I'll show how to play 10 songs from the Woodstock 1969 Music Festival. Okay, start off. Going Up the Country by Canned Heat. So I'll play it first. Starts off B flat for four measures. Then E flat for two two measures. And B flat for two measures. And F for two measures. And B flat for two measures. Basically, the song it just repeats. Next song, Coming Into Los Angeles by Arlo Guthrie. Okay, starts off. Intro and the verse are the same, same thing, so I'll play it first. A minor, two beats, A minor with a G, that's the top, A minor, with the top string, third fret, two beats, and an A minor with an F sharp, the top string, second fret, so that's for four beats, then an F, two beats, C, two beats, E, two beats, E7, two beats, so I'll play it again slowly, so that's the intro and the verse, okay, the bridge, I'll play it first, A minor, two beats, C, two beats, D for four beats, can you do it again, A minor, two beats, C, D, F, C, four beats, E, E7, next song, with a little help from my friends, Joe Cocker, okay this is like the acoustic version, sort of arranged, I know there's a lot of great electric guitar playing in it though, okay, so the intro, the chorus are the same, so I'll play it first. It starts off, you play that eight times. Okay, so the intro and the chorus are the same. So the verse, I'll play it first. A with a 
G sharp. Just play E like that. It's a top string, fourth fret. Two beats. The B minor. E. And A. You play that twice. Then it's a chorus with four times. Okay, the next part is uh, the bridge. Play it first. It starts off the notes A, C sharp, and E. So that's a fifth string open, fourth fret, seventh fret. F sharp minor, four beats. And A. Hold it for four beats. And notes again. F sharp minor, four beats, E for four beats. Then, next song is Jennifer by Bert Sommer. Okay, the rhythm has a one, two, three feel. Like So this is the verse. I'll play it first. It starts off with four Ds. times. bridge. So it's, uh, I'll play it first. song is White Rabbit, Jefferson Airplane. Okay, so I'll play the intro first. Yep. 
Okay, it starts off with the fourth string, fourth string, fourth fret, twice, and the fifth string, fourth fret, three times. Back to the fourth string, fourth fret, twice. Then play it again. Then just do the exact same thing, but up, up at the fifth fret. So it's the fourth string, fifth fret, twice. Fifth string, fifth fret, three times. Back to the fifth string, fifth fret, twice. And the verse starts off the G sharp. Oh, no, I'll play it first. How's that? sharp then G then F sharp then G then A And the bridge, I'll play it first. Sharp. Which it just goes back into the verse again. So it ends with the verse. The end of the verse, then it goes into the ending, which is just E. E and A. On, back and forth on the E and A. Over and over again. Okay, the next song is The Weight by the Band. Okay, so I'll play the verse first. Run through it. four times. So it's A, two beats, C sharp minor, two beats, then D for two beats, back to A for two beats. And you do that for four times. Okay. The chorus, I'll play it first. Okay, that's 
A, A with a G sharp, which is the top string, fourth fret, and a D, a couple beats, and you do that three times. A, same as before, A with the G sharp, F sharp minor, E, then D, hold it, and that's it. Next song, Bad Moon Rising by CCR. Okay, I'll play the verse first. Okay, so it starts off with a D, an A, G, and a D. several times. In the chorus, play it first. So it's G, then D, Song, the Hop by Shana Na. Okay, I'll play it first. The intro. Starts off with a G, E minor, C, D, and G. Okay. The verse, I'll play through it first. It starts off with a G. G7, then a C, then a G, then a D, C, then G. Okay, the next two songs, playing electric. The next song is See Me, Feel Me by The Who. Okay. Starts off with uh, E flat, the fifth string, sixth fret. Slide it up two frets to F. You do that four times. Seventh. That's 
E major 7th, there. F sharp. F sharp again. The G sharp. You do that three times. Then it's... Seventh again, F sharp, F sharp again, then F, okay, the next part, I'll play it first. off C sus4 it's like a regular barred C but with your pinky you play the uh, fifth fourth and third strings on the tenth fret like that four beats then a regular C four beats and a B flat the sixth fret. C. D flat. Then a B flat. C. F. Then a B flat. Fourth fret, E flat, then a C sus four, four beats, then a C, okay next song, Summertime Blues, but who? Okay, I'll play the main part first. So it starts off with an A. You play the A like that. Three times. Then a D. E chord twice, then top string fourth fret, then an A. So I'll play it again slowly. Okay, the next part, um, just like this. Okay, so that's the uh, so bar chord, A flat at the top string, fourth fret, slide it up to the fifth fret. I'll put 
together. Okay, I'll play it first. Okay, A, A beats, hold it, and the first riff, then a D, uh, play that twice, then a D, A beats, then A, stop and hold it for A beats. Then a D, play for eight beats. Then A, hold it for eight beats. Okay, and that's the lesson. I hope you have found it helpful, and thanks for watching. Okay, so here's some photos I'd like to share from my trip to the original Woodstock site in Bethel, New York, on my driving trip through New England in June of 2007. So that's me there at the uh, Woodstock site, and there's the monument uh, dedicated to the site. So this is the original site of the Woodstock Music and Arts Fair, held on August 15th, 16th, and 17th, 1969. Okay, so that's me there. That's a wooden monument, erected uh, 1969, 1999. It's the 30th anniversary. And there's the Bethel Woodstock Museum. It opened up like a month before I got there, so I just missed it. And uh, here's where the, uh, the festival took place. See, it's on a farmland in Bethel. And it was chosen because it had a natural amphitheater shape. It had like a bowl shape. And uh, this is where the stage was, right around here. Okay, here's another view of the uh, of the field. That's where all the people were. As you can see, it's uh, it's got a natural stage designed to it. Okay, that's where I was sitting in the monument, and this was a, or like a, like a bit of a guide. Uh, I forget his name, but uh, he was at the Woodstock Festival. He had like a Woodstock tattoo and everything, so he's a really nice guy. Um, okay. Okay, that's down by the stage, by the road, and this is where the stage was, and this would be looking out onto the audience. Okay, another view from where the stage would have been. Okay, this is where the stage was, back here. Uh, facing the other way, here's the road. And if you saw the Woodstock movie, this is where the uh, all the helicopters landed and all the musicians gathered right before they performed, right around here. And the bridge would be going across over here onto the stage. Gives me a selfie at where the stage would have been. Okay, and another view of the, the stage and the amphitheater. And okay, there's a zoom in of the monuments and the Woodstock symbol. And uh, that's one of the original concrete pillars that supported the stage. It was left there and now it's on display. There's the pillar again, and another pillar. And that's about it.